Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am going to talk about red eyeshadows and I did a video a long long time ago it must have been over a year maybe more where I swatched 15 of my orange eyeshadows and today I'm going to swatch 15 of my red eyeshadows I think I have some more or I know that I have some more and in the palettes I'm going to show you, there might be more than one red, but I'm only going to take one of the red from each of the palettes. And also I am going to <laughs> take 15 because that is what's like fits on my arm real good. So yeah, I have 15 palettes from different brands and I think we're just going to start this swatch party. And I like to do these kinds of videos. Okay, I only have done one. <laughs> But I liked it because it's fun to see how different a red could be. And also, this is the month of red for me, so it's good to see what I have if I'm going to do red eye looks. First off, and yeah, it's both a limited edition and normal palettes in this one, just so you know. But first off, I have the Vita palette from Melt, and it looks like this. And I am, of course, going to swatch this red because it's only have one red the mexicana and i have to look what i'm doing so this is mexicana from the vita palette and i really like this red i think it is like a true red shade it's not too dark it's not too light it's not too orange it's not too like brownish it's a really like it's red this is a red shade Next up I have the Ace Bute Vintage Dawn and the palette looks like this and I'm of course going to take a gleam this one. This is a shimmery red and I don't think I've used this one yet but it looks so so good so I'm going to swatch it under here. Maybe I should have swatched them closer together. So this is maybe a little bit more rusty, but it has like a red undertone of it. And I think this is like my favorite reds when it comes to shimmer reds. Like a little bit more rusty or orange maybe, but with a red base, I think they look really, really, really good. So this is Gleam from Vintage Dawn. Next palette is a palette that I really like and that it's kind of new to me and it is the Whatever palette from Colourpop. It looks like this. So this has some different kind of reds. Like this maybe later is an orangey brighter red and this bad guy that is like more plummy or... Okay, I'm so bad with undertones. Why do I do this? I don't know. I'm sorry. And then we have this one that I'm going to use. This is Miss Brightside. And this is like a plummy red. I don't know if all of you agree with me that it's a red, but it has like a red undertone. And I think I took too much. Yeah, I did. But this is like a really plummy, deep red. I love these kinds of plummy reds. And this is such a good shade. The first time I used it in my first impression, I can leave it up here. I was amazed. This is so pigmented, so dark, and so, so amazing. So this Miss Brightside, I just love it. And do you see how different red can be only with these three reds? Amazing. And like my arm is going to hurt so much from this. The next palette is a palette that has one of my favorite reds. It's the Festival palette from U.S. Place. For some reason, people don't seem to like this. I don't know why. I really like this one. It looks like this, and I love this Isafa red up here. It also has this Ofala that is like an orange red, but this one is my favorite in this palette, and it's such a cool red color. This is a little bit more to the purple side, I would say, but it's such a cool, cool red. And do I swatch a little bit off? 
Yes, I do. Am I going to fix this? I hope. <laughs> but this is the Isafa from the Festival palette. Next up we have from a Swedish brand and I have taken the Infinity Deep palette by Linda Holberg. This was the second Infinity palette and it looks like this. And this Mars shade... I love it. This is not a shimmer but it's not a matte. It has some shimmer specs and it's like... Not like that crazy red. And okay, if I take it a little bit like this... That was not good swatch. And it's not that like dark, dark red. It just has like, I don't know. But it's, okay, maybe it's a beginner red. I really, really do like it. And I think it's so amazing together like on your whole lid or with an... A black so take it to Fornax in this palette for example and Mars and maybe Lightyear in the crease you will have a cool smoky half halo no half halo half cre cut half cut crease with a red cool shade. The next palette I want to swatch from is from a rainbow palette and that is the certified tropical wonders palette that looks like this. This is an amazing rainbow palette. I almost said eyeshadow palette. It's a really good eyeshadow palette, an amazing rainbow palette. And I want to swatch the Red Sea. This shade is so, so good. It feels a little bit dry, but on the eye, it looks amazing. And this is also one of these brighter reds that is almost a little bit of an orange I love to pair this with like an orange shade or when I want to do like a warmer eye and it's such a really pigmented easy blendable amazing reddish orangey reddish or orangey reddish shade next palette is a palette that I haven't used that much because I I, I did like it in my first impression Oh my god, have I only used this palette once? No. I do think I have only done one video with it though. It's the Classical Horror from LA Splash. This is such a cool packaging. The palette looks like this. And I am of course going to swatch the 13th. Maybe I should take this as the shade 13th. Uh, it also has this Nightmare that I think is a little bit reddish, but I'm going to swatch this one. And now when I'm thinking about it, I really need to use this palette. And I... What I can remember... Yeah. This is like a brick. I would call this a brick red, or like maybe it's terracotta if you're going to be really... Really... I, I don't know the word. <laughs> But it is such a nice shade and I do need to use this classic horror. Maybe I should do a video with it soon. And it's also this more orange leaning. Maybe I should, maybe, maybe, maybe what should I have? No, what? No, hey. Maybe I have the most of the orange leaning reddish. I don't know. We will see <laughs> when I'm done. How many am I? And two, three, four, five, six. We're halfway through. So next up, it's going to be bright and it's going to be fun and it's going to be the Vier Neon from Kaleidos. I don't remember the shade of this. It's something with an eye, I think. I don't know. Where is it? I'm going to have all the shade shade name down in the description. I'm going to try to have them in order as well. Sorry for me. In the future that is going to do that but i'm going to of course swatch this one this i think might be the brightest red i have we will actually see now and i don't know if i am going to talk about this palette so much because it is limited edition but this red it is such it is such a nice red and i love to pair it with the orange 
in this palette they look amazing together and this is these two are actually pretty similar I want to look at it I think though this is a little bit warmer than this one this was the Red Sea from Tropical Wonders it must be but yeah it's a really really nice shade I don't know why Kaleidos did discontinue that palette I will never understand Maybe we should go in with a shimmer again, or should we take something darker? We take something darker. And this palette, I'm going to show you now. I've really been loving it this year. I did four looks with it, I think. And it's finally back. Um, they released it again with a different packaging. And if you have been looking for this palette, I think you should buy it, because it's a really good formula. And it's the Makeup Addiction Flaming Love. It's pink now, I think, the packaging. And I'm going to swatch this shade, the Flaming Love. This is a deep burgundy terracotta. Is that the same thing? No, it's not. This is a deep, almost a brownish red. And this is, now my arm is like too short. Okay, I have to... <laughs> But my face need to be up. Fuck. Maybe I should just decap it. Decap de 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 it. Chop my head off. Decap. What? I listen to a lot of crime pods. Okay. You know what I mean. This is. Maybe it doesn't look red. I don't know if it looks red in the camera. But it has this like undertone of a red. And. This palette is so good and the mattes are amazing to work with. So easy to blend. It's like a dream. I would like to try more for Makeup Addiction, but I don't know why I don't do it. But <laughs> this shade is so, so good. And do I going to fit all on my arm? I'm actually starting to question myself. I think I should have swatched them closer together. Do you know what? It's a bit late for that. Maybe we'll have some on the sides. We will see. Then I'm going to take a shimmer red from the SPJ Flare palette. I love this palette. I know this is one of these palettes that people have a problem with. And I'm going to swatch this Mirage. This is such a cool shimmer and now I have so much Standing on my fingers. Such a nice shimmery red. I think it has like a little bit of sheen to orange. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really a nice, easy working shimmery red. I think shimmery reds are pretty hard to find. That is not like too orange, but I think this is, it has a hint of an orange, but it's not like you look at it and it's like, oh, it's an orange. So this one, it's so, so good. I can really recommend this palette if you love blue, if you love orange, if you love neutral, if you love everything. Buy it. I'm going to take a melt palette again. Yes, and I'm going to do the Muerte. And it looks like this. This is like three reds. And I, when I was looking through my palettes, I was like, okay, I'm going to take Corazon. But maybe that is pretty similar to Mexicana from the Vida. But you know what? I'm going to take it. So I'm taking this Corazon. I think it's heart in Spanish. No, this is... So this was the one from the Vida palette, and this is from the Muerte, and this is more coal toned. It has a blue base, I would guess, and this is more of a orangey red, but it's not orangey, but more to the warm side, and this is more to the cool side. And this is... I have used this, I think, almost every time that I have used the Muerte palette. I think I've used this all time I'm not sure but it is such a cool color and I think that melt does really good red colors so it's going to be fun if I get my hands on bill use waiting room palette but yeah 
That is the one from Muerte. Then I'm going in to maybe a shimmer again. But I'm going to have three shimmers now in a row maybe. Next palette has a lot of red. It's a cherry on top from Beach Cosmetics. It looks like this. And I didn't know if I was going to take sprinkles or black cherry. But I actually think I will take black cherry. Just to have a little bit more shimmer to this. So I'm going in with black cherry. And this palette. It is such a good. Oh, this is so nice. This is the black cherry. I think this and Mira Mirage is kind of similar, but maybe not. I'm going to swatch the two. I have three shades left, two that are shimmers. So I'm going to swatch them with this black cherry to see if they are similar. But the black cherry is really good. This palette is amazing. I know that they are coming back to stock. I don't know if they are out of stock again when this comes up. But if you have your eyes on this, I hope you get it. It's really, really good. Then we can take a palette from Nabla. It's the Cutie Palette Coral. And I think I just have to open this and you know which shade it's going to be. This red shape is so, so, so nice. I did use it in... When I did a red... Red eyes and green lip. I use this red shape to have something more. This is maybe not the shimmer shimmer. I think this was one of their satins. But it is so, so nice. And this is more to the orange side. I don't know if you can see like difference between... Can you... Yeah, here you might can see. This is... The one from Sweet Shop that is a little bit more red and this is a little bit more orange. But they still are really, really nice, both of them. And I don't know what I like the most. Or do I? But the red shape from Nabla, it's an amazing, an amazing, amazing shade. And oh, my arm is hurting so, so bad. Then we are going into the second to last palette and this is from Kaleidos and it's the Cyber Bronze. This has one of my absolute, absolute favorite shimmery reds. It is this one. I think it's called Infrared. I'm not 100% sure because I don't have the plastic slip with it but I think it is. And this shade. I say it with all the shades, I know, but do you see this? This is so smooth and I think I need to take a little bit more because it was a long swatch. This is such unlike, I can leave a video up here where I've used it, but it's so like perfect. I've been really missing a red like this. Um, and it is a really, really good red. And I think that that red like makes up for the whole Cyber Bronze palette. And now my arm is really, really tired. And this swatches look amazing. I want, just want to look at them in the viewfinder. And go like... Ooh. Okay, and the last red is from a palette that I haven't used in such a long time. Or, this is not a palette for me. These are single shadows. But, I think it's only sold as a palette. No, I, I have no idea. But it's the Colored Rain Vivid Pigments. And it is, of course... Oh, I almost dropped it. This one, Sauce. This is... I think this is not vegan. I think it's... The only one in this that isn't vegan and this is a really dark amazing red and now how, can I fit all of these in frame yeah but I can't fit me in the frame then like that and this sauce is such a cool dark red and I need to use it more now when I swatch it I really really do need and yeah, these are 15 of my 
red eyeshadows. I just need to get some blood back in my arm. So these are 15 of my red eyeshadows and I love that this one is so dark compared to the others, the plummy Mrs. Brightside. Miss Brightside. And yeah, I really do love eye red eyeshadows. I can see that now. Is it normal to have this many? I don't know. But I think this was good for me actually because I am doing a lot of red this month. So it's good for me to see all the red eyeshadows I have. And yeah. So yeah, I do really hope that you like this video. And do you like red eyeshadows as as I do? Please tell me and tell me if you have like a super super favorite when it comes to red. I love eyeshadows. I love lipsticks that are red. I just love red. If I'm looking at these and going to choose my favorite. I don't think I can't. But I think I like. The ones like in the bottom a little bit more. I do love both warm and cold tones. The one thing I love about when they are a little bit warmer red is that it's amazing to have them together with an orange and I love to do orange and red. If they are on the cold side I love to do like a really dark eye and take a really dark red lip to it. So like <laughs> I can't decide. I love them both. But yeah, I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!